What's going on everybody? I know it's been a long time since I was able to put out a video. I've been working my butt off and doing a lot of things with my kid and my family. But today is a special day. So I had a buddy of mine clean out his garage and he found this whole box of like vintage and some modern games and he was just like, here, take it. Take it, Retro, take it. So I'm here today, I haven't looked through it at all, but let you guys see kind of what I'm looking at because this is literally how I got it and I haven't done anything with it yet. So today, we're gonna open it up together we're gonna go through this bad boy. The only thing I know is that there's some Atari stuff, some NES stuff, some Xbox 360 stuff, and I think a couple Xbox One games. That's what he told me, but he didn't tell me what, what was in there. So we're gonna go through it together. I'm super excited. All right, guys, so you can see this is like an old vintage like Atari case with some tape on it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it on the floor so you guys can see game by game what I pull out. I'm gonna go through it kind of quickly. Because honestly, Atari's not really my forte. So we got Sword Quest, Porky's, Game Hunt, Combat, Stampede, Street Racer, Laser Blast, Pitfall, Atari Force. Let's see. Catalogs, 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 catalogs. Sword Quest. Looks like a Sword Quest. Advertisement of some sort. Yes. Okay. Demons and Diamonds, Berserk, Pac-Man, Pac-Man, Double Pac-Man, Code Breaker, King Kong, hmm, put that aside, Video Pinball, Chopper Command, Pitfall, Donkey Kang, Donkey Kang, I actually just won a uh, Donkey Kong arcade tournament recently, Carnival, Space Invaders, Tennis, Asteroids, Superman, da 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 da. I have this on NES, and I am a huge fan of any Superman game, except for the 64 one, even though I beat it, but I will never play it again. If my kid acts up, I might make him play Superman 64, I don't know. Breakaway 4, Star Wars Empire Strikes Back, Missile Command. You know, my father's done a lot for me, and I just... I just want to thank him for everything he's done. And Spider-Man. Good old Spider-Man. Hmm. Alright, so we have Stampede. We have a mystery game. Street Racer. Laser Blast. Hunt and score. We'll go through these kind of fast. Stack them up. Good old Pitfall, my wife's favorite. Combat. Carnival. Space Invaders. Sword Quest. I remember uh, AVGN did a thing on Sword Quest about like finding certain things in the game, winning prizes, and ultimately they had this like huge like worldwide competition. It was a really good video actually. You guys should check it out. Uh, Demons and Diamonds, Berserk, Ooh, King Kong in the Blue Tiger Vision case. No end label. That's kind of cool. I don't know if I've seen this version. Is this the only version? Like I said, I'm not crazy familiar with Atari. That's kind of cool. Let's put that aside. Donkey Kong by Nintendo. You see that? It's like by Nintendo. It's crazy. Codebreaker. Asteroids. Superman. No end label, unfortunately. Tennis. Breakaway 4, Empire Strikes Back, Oops, some got Missile Command, Video Pinball, Pitfall, oh, we got two Pitfalls, 
Some of these are in awkward positions. Chopper Command. Haunted House. Home Run. Porkies. Inlay was good. Ah. Let's see. Fantastic Voyage. I'm sure in 4-bit that's, that's a fantastic voyage. MASH. That was a good show back in the day. Egg Mania. Now, I've played this game before, but I don't remember it being in a cartridge like this. Hmm. Interesting. We'll put it over there with King Kong. Let's see what else we got. Dragster. Outlaw. Pac-Man. Good old Pac-Man. Let's see. Oh, I'd like to thank him again. This probably goes on here. Hmm. We're putting the puzzle together. We are putting the puzzle together. Okay. And good old Spidey. Is that Green Goblin in there? It looks like Green Goblin. That's cool. I like that artwork. I'll put that over there. In my opinion, those are the three best games in here. But mind you, like I said, then we got a couple attachments. Uh, let's see, universal power adapter. And a manufacturer sticker. But that's all that's in there. As I'm shaking the camera vigilantly, or vigorously, or. Some V1. Alright, so looks like a 360 in here. First gen model. Needed a new doorstop for this office, so this will come in really handy. There's a War 3 sticker. Uh, that's a second generation, because I don't think they put the HDMI on until like the second generation, first gen. No hard drive. All right, so I just pulled out all the games. And let's see, we have Dead Rising. Uh, fairly scratched up. Fable 3, scratched up. Halo Reach, complete, Titanfall, this is in there, Shadow of Mordor, this is in there, ooh, Legendary Edition, Rise, this was our launch game for the Xbox One, Sean White Snowboarding, no disc, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, Sims 2, no disc, all right. That was exciting. So we just have a ton of cords, a ton of cords. Some wire. Oh, look at this. We got Top Gun. Hmm. There is an NES in there with the game. A couple light guns. Bunch of controllers, 360 controller. Let's check out the NES. There's a game in there. Got gumshoe. Look at that. No lid. Hmm. Got some DS games. Fashion designer. And it's right in there. Ooh, Teenage Zombies. I'm assuming the game's probably not in there, but let's check. Nope. Manual's kind of messed up. Man, that sucks. I was actually looking forward to that game. Go train your dragon. All right. So we got cases for those. And a how to play guitar. Hmm. Well, guys, thanks for checking back in. There's some pretty cool Atari stuff there. A few good games in the 360 department. Uh, see if I can get them cleaned up or not. Top Gun, very tough NES game, especially the landing phase. Gumshoe's pretty fun. Uh, I think Gumshoe's the score of the two. We got Donkey Kong. We got To Tank Him. To Tank... You know, I know I'm probably saying it wrong, but To Tank Him. It's just To Tank Him. It's fun to say. To Tank Him. I like To Tank Him. 
Thank him for everything he's done. Spider-Man. But there's a couple good Atari games in there. But I just want to say to my buddy, thank you for giving me that. That's awesome, dude. I am a gamer. I was a retro video game store owner, so chords are kind of uh, my forte. It's the collection that I don't necessarily say that I have, but it's definitely there. So I have a collection of chords, and it's crazy. <laughs> I thought I'd bring you guys in to share the adventure of opening it up and looking at all the stuff. I had no idea what to expect. He just told me NES, 360, and Atari stuff, and that's what we got. So I got some other videos planned coming here in the near future. They're just stuff that I've been wanting to do, stuff, creative creative ideas that I've had in my mind that I, I, I've been wanting to do, like cooking with my kid, and, and just more family-oriented stuff, because that's ultimately why I sold my video game store was to spend more time with my family, you know, to have a little adventures with my son and my wife. And uh, I figure if I can film it and show us all the good times we have, the jokes we make and stuff like that, I think it'd make, you know, fun content. If not, worst case scenario, I'll have fun editing it because that's my favorite part of the video process is the editing stage. So, and don't forget to keep retro gaming alive, people. I just want to thank him everything's done.